Hey everybody, here we are on another Monday night, just making sure that everything works and we're underway. This is our tagline, everybody goes forward together. We're not leaving anybody behind. If you need help, you know how to reach out, you know how to get hold of us. You can send an email, Derek at oldrocks.me uh, and we'll get back to you and make sure that you get brought along with everybody else. Now here we are, this is our entry slide. Make sure that you know that you are one of the team. If you're here today or tonight, whenever you're going to watch this video, you need to remember that you're part of that Gold Rocks family. So welcome everyone. Let's get into our usual story of we are expressing our views only. We are affiliates. We do not represent the company. Carrot Bars International, nor do we give financial advice. All we're talking about is the fact that we have, in fact, worked out some stuff to benefit ourselves. And I can tell you that you might know stuff that I don't, but I have found this program to work for us. Let's listen to Miss Camilla talk about why. Hi there. Thank you for joining us from wherever you are in this beautiful world of ours. We, the team at Gold Rocks, are here to show you how to become a gold saver, which has far better return than traditional savings methods. Let us show you why you should get started today. When you begin saving, you typically have a goal in mind, whether it be buying a house, paying off debt, starting a business, saving for studies, travel, or maybe retirement. We've always been told to work hard and save money. The majority of us have only had the following options. Maybe holding your cash in an envelope or piggy bank, opening a cash savings account to earn interest, or apply for a loan, but that means debt, and that's something none of us want to get into. Unfortunately, Many people don't understand what saving money and the traditional method really means. Cash loses an average of 2% per year through inflation. That means that if you saved $100 today, it would have the buying power of $90 in five years' time. So then what if you put it into a savings account? The average interest rate across the banking system in Australia and New Zealand is now less than 1% per year. So that $100 would have the buying power of less than $95 in five years' time. A little better than the cash in an envelope, but you are definitely losing money. Question, what do they do that you don't do? Yet, governments wealthy, and banks. What do they do? Simple. They save gold. Robert Kiyosaki, who we all know as the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and Cash Flow Quadrant, says gold is God's money. JP Morgan, one of the most powerful bankers of his era, whose company JP Morgan Chase still exists today, said Gold is money, and everything else is credit. And Alan Greenspan, the former head of the Federal Reserve, arguably the most powerful financial institution in the world, says gold is always accepted. And they are just a few examples amongst many others. So why gold? Gold gains an average of 20% per year. So what if you put $100 into gold? In five years' time, it would be worth at least $200. Would you rather $95 from your traditional savings account or $200 from your gold savings account? As the value of cash falls, gold rises. Why choose our gold? And why save with us? Our gold savings account is free to open and has no monthly fees. Our source is the global leader of small increment weights from 0.1 of a gram. And at the time of recording this, 0.1 of a gram was about $10 to $11 Australian. 
This makes gold accessible to all levels of income. No matter who you are, what you earn, you can now do what was once only available to those with wealth. And helping all people get ahead is something our team at Gold Rocks is passionate about. Our gold is 999.9% gold bullion purity. It has state-of-the-art security against counterfeiting, and our source provides free storage until you choose to have your gold delivered to you. Getting started is as easy as getting back to the person who shared this video with you, registering your free gold savings account, and starting to save your money in gold today. We encourage you to do your own research into all the information we have shown you. And we look forward to helping you save your future in gold with the team at Gold Rocks. Be blessed. Thank you, Ms. Camilla. Hey, listen, let's get back onto the program here. Let's talk about gold. Here's what happens. If you look on the right-hand side, that's what a one ounce US gold coin cost in 1933, $20.67. And you look at it in 2020, it's $1,771 bills. Now, I'm not sure whether you need to know anything else other than that, but that was a $10 coin. $10. And now it's worth $1,770. If you need any other reason to think about building a gold business, that should be it. There's the physical evidence right in front of your eyes. But here's where we get really different. We have access to a digital gold system. Let's have a look at the V999 system and tell me what you think. Of the revolution and you've got to understand that what we're doing is on the edge of technology there aren't too many other ways that you can get into gold other than go down the street buy some gold from a bullion dealer and put it in your pocket the problem with that is gold is really heavy you need to work out a way that you can use gold to secure your financial future. And I'm not, I'm not an expert in all that financial stuff, but we're going to talk to people tonight who in fact can tell you what they would do themselves. They're not recommending it. They're not telling you what to do, but they're going to tell you what they would do themselves. So if you're here tonight for the first time, you can set up a free account as a customer or an affiliate. It's free. If you're a customer, you just pay retail. If you're an affiliate, you buy it at wholesale. You also open up some other income streams. There's more products. You get to trade gold and or crypto as you choose. Now, make sure you understand this. Everything we do in this business today is our choosing. We get to pick what we need to do and what we want to do. The organization as a group, Gold Rocks, 
we will do things always to make sure that nobody gets left behind. Everyone goes forward together. So one of the wealth principles is pay yourself first. If you own a business today, if you're a self-employed person, I guarantee you, you don't do that because most people can't. You need to establish a residual income and you need to limit your tax exposure. And by the way, if you can stay ahead of inflation, you're in front of the curve. But most people can't do that because it just doesn't exist outside of what we're talking about. So let's get into it. We're sponsored tonight by Easy Shopping Cards. Cassie, she does all sorts of things she can for us. Listen, easyshoppingcards.com, you can get 2% back in gold if you buy your groceries at Woolworths. If you need stuff, you can buy an Amazon card. How cool is that? You need a Carrot Pay account, so you need to be a Carrot Bars member. And what the heck, you get free gold for buying your groceries. Where else can you do that? And here's a whole bunch of other merchants, BJS Urban in Adelaide. I know Brad's on the call tonight. He will give you a bucket full of gold if you spend enough money with him building a fence. Skippy Pest Control. Dan has the greatest collection of hammers you've ever seen in your life to squash ants one at a time. Com Choice. You can get 4% back in gold on your mobile contract. And Love Day Vehicle Lubricants. We just picked up a bunch of oil from Doug and Jenny. And uh, I'm using their fuel additive as well. Can't speak highly enough of those products. They solved a problem we had with one of our cars a while ago and it's still fixed because we started using that oil. It's a great product line. So here we go. We're gonna do a member segment here. I hope Mr. Duck is on the line because we're gonna make sure everyone goes forward together. Are you there, Mr. Duck, Mr. Graham Duck? Hey Derek, how are you going? Yep, I am, I am good, mate. How are you? Are you cold out there? Or are you sitting out in the frost? Not at all, not at all. There's a, a little glass of beverage to keep one warm. <laughs> Excellent. All is well. Mate, I just wanted to talk to you tonight a little bit about what your thoughts were on the V999 coin because you come from a financial consultant distance. You know, you, you used to give people advice. I know you're retired. I know you're not in that field anymore. But what can you tell me about your thoughts of the V999 coin? Eric, I, I think we're sitting on the precipice here of a completely new world capacity in the fact that years ago, gold was taken away from the everyday trading because people would clip it because of the value. You only need a couple of filings and of every coin, gradually the coin value goes down. But with what I'm seeing with the triple nine, the V triple nine, it is 0 0.1, 0 0.01 of a gram of gold. It's attached to a, or it is a part of a 400 troy ounce. And people need to understand the difference between a troy ounce and an ounce. A troy ounce is only 12 ounces to the pound, not the standard 16. So it is considerably heavier, 25% heavier. But when we get to the fact that this coin that's being brought into circulation for us is sitting in a London exchange vault, auditable at any given point of time, that they are all in place, and they're not losing or don't have the potential to lose any value with wear and tear because gold in itself is quite soft. But it's able to be traded and utilized in its entirety around the world and can never be infiltrated with the manipulation of the markets that we're seeing with the, the fiat currency. Yeah, I had 30 years as a financial consultant, insurance broker, 
part of the reason I got away from that was dealing with this very sort of issue that I advised a lot of clients in the early 2000s, gold and silver is the place to be. Um, a lot of them did very, very well and a lot of them are still holding gold and silver and doing, doing quite well. Whilst they don't see a fixed percentile return back into an account somewhere, at the end of the day, their assets are secure and are going up. And when we're seeing you know, our dollar depreciating by a minimum of 2.2%, and I say a minimum because there is not a factual evidence that the information they're giving us is taking into account every total cost of living. So it's, it's much, much more than that. But moving forward, I'm quite excited with this new coin and, and the capacity we have to utilize that as payment systems and to receive a 0.02% on the coins that we actually buy the ownership of in these initial stages that moving forward, we can actually sell them, but still keep that, that security. So I think it's just an awesome event that we've got in front of us. Absolutely, and I agree. I'm, I'm determined to get some V triple nine coins because I see it as a great way to hold gold. Uh, it's a little bit different to cash gold, but the advantage of the V triple nine system is I can spend it in my online wallet whenever I want. Is that your view of it? From what I'm understanding. Yes, it's it, whilst ever we hold ownership of that, it's it's sitting in our wallet. The and I'm still trying to get my head around that, as most of us are, with the lack of information or the early stages of implementation. I guess is the word correct used. But whilst we own that coin, we have that gold. But in the stages leading up to the 31st no sorry the 15th of october we can actually buy those coins and sell them and still pick up the use of those coins as they're used around the world when they're used around the world in in holding that and it's held in a digital structure which as you and i are both aware the financial world is in a state of major disrepair, shall I say. Um, we're seeing complete potential collapses of banks in China and in America and other parts of the world, even as we speak. Um, I think I shared some stuff with you earlier this morning about things in China and how it's pretty desperate for a lot of people. And if they think that holding physical dollars and cents is security then you know back in 2009 I saw advertisements from the Bank of America that that said due to circumstances beyond our control we're unable to operate today they don't have the funds it's quite scary so to be able to be backed by gold in this manner I think very forward-thinking from Harold and his team of whoever's involved it's just taking a little longer to implement than we would have liked, but that's where we're going. Indeed. Thank you, Graham. Okay, I investigated the Chinese situation myself on, on Sunday and again today, and they are in a world of hurt in China. So anyone that thinks the Chinese are perched to take over the world, they need to look at the internal systems in China and how bad things are really happening there. I'm astounded at the level of, uh, what would I call, animosity that the local people in China have towards their leadership. They're starting to really break down the entire process over there. And w it will be interesting to see what happens in the next few months with the Chinese Communist Party and where the normal people go with their support or lack thereof. So why do we have a sudden change in carrot bars about the coins? Well, regulations changed last year, denominating that utility tokens are transactional tokens and they have a use. 
but security tokens have a value. Therefore, carrot bars had to reach out and work out a way to deal with that because what they were trying to do at the time was switch KBC into a security token. And let's just make sure that you understand we're saying, be prepared for the 15th of October. If you're a Gold Rocks member, reach out to someone in your upline, someone in your active upline, and get them to help you. If you can't do that, you need to send an email to Derek at goldrocks.me and we will work out a way for you to hold that open and we'll make sure that you can make it work. Now, Jack's saying V999 can be held in our personal wallet and use on other exchanges. Yes, if we sell the coin, then we enter into the smart contract. 3.2 commissions. Yes, if you sell the coin, you can't spend the coin as it will no longer be in your wallet. Correct, because you've sold it, but the contract will remain forever. Yes, you will maintain ownership of that coin. Good, Jack. Thanks for putting that in there. So let's look at the checklist we've got running currently. You need to make sure you understand what the reduction plan is. You need to make sure you understand what the V999 coin is. You need to make sure that you can buy some cash gold in the coming months. You need to set up either Binance, P2P, B2B, peer-to-peer -peer or business-to-business, -business, or Bitfinex. On Bit4X, you can actually buy KBC. Forget about that for the moment because they've just launched their competition. So there's new packages coming. We will see them in our website. And I suspect maybe that that's what's happening right now. But let's make sure you're prepared for the 15th of October. Remember, everyone goes forward together. If you don't have someone you can talk to who need to make sure that they can go forward with all these changes, contact us. Derek at goldrocks.me. We will make sure that somebody helps you go forward with this. You will not be left behind. I promise you, you will not be left behind. So make sure that you understand that you can reach out for help. And please do not think twice about it. That's what we're here for. So how about the employment numbers? Let's look at what's happening in Australia. Because I can tell you it's ugly. That's employed people and see how that fell off a cliff in April, 2020. But what about the unemployment rate? Because it went up a cliff in April, 2020. Now the government's trying to tell you that it's not as bad as it really is. It is worse than they're telling us. Because if you look at the hours worked last month, it's interesting to see that the hours worked by full-time employed people dropped by 10%. 10%. Let me reiterate that. The hours worked by full-time employees dropped by 10%. How is it possible that employment dropped by only 7.4%. Doesn't add up. What a surprise. Let's look at the travel industry. Flight centre. Despite funding from the government, has reduced its staff from 22,000 to 5,000. 22,000 to 5,000. And Brad Saravalli saying, yeah, and business owners can't find staff because people are being paid more to stay home than they are to go to work. Interesting. Hello World, another travel business has reduced staff from 1,500 to 700. And predictions are that 98% of travel agents will disappear in the coming months. 98 percent 
hang on, that's businesses, wait for it. Let's have a look at this. Survivors will hold on to less than 8% of their existing staff. So what we're looking at is an entire, I don't know a word to describe it. They're just putting a blowtorch to an entire industry, setting fire to it and letting it go. That is amazing. 8% of existing staff. So what about everywhere else? Well, let's look at Yahoo Finance today. 250 million people will lose their jobs as a result of the current economic events and will never get them back. A quarter of a billion jobs gone. Really? Okay, what about places that generally don't report to things like Yahoo Finance? What about Russia? Let's, let's look at what they're doing. Well, the Russians are saying gold will extend its rally as the price may surge more than 20% in 2020. Really? The price of the precious metal rose 26% in the first half of this year. 26%. Now, I'm not sure, but I don't think there's anybody on this call that can talk to me about a bank account that might match that. And, and I've, I'm open to discussion. If you're able to bring that up, please have a, raise your hand in the chat window here. Let's have a discussion because I don't think that's possible because we have people on the call tonight, I think. Let me just scroll down here. I'll see if Jen, uh, J-K-L. Yes, she's, she was on the call earlier. Yes, there she is. Who A lady who works at a bank and she was telling me that they are paying 0.6% interest on accounts that deposit up to a million dollars. Excellent. There you go. She's just said the highest I've seen is 18% in the late 80s. That's correct. 26% this year. And Greg's saying correctly that he's suggesting there'll be no international travel till there's a vaccine. I think you're right. I know a number of people that are trying to build a business around the travel industry at the moment, and that's just ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. So just have a listen to this video. I've edited it down to a few minutes, but this guy is confronting, and I can tell you. He's been pretty Lockdown 2.0 is on. We have seen much of the population reversing the trend of reopening, which has a major impact on the economy through various factors. The hardest hit industries are going to be hit yet again. Areas that were grateful to see things opening up were smacked with a reversal of that trend. And this might be an even bigger group of businesses that ultimately fall. This is completely separate from what we are seeing in the stock market. The growth has accelerated, essentially defying gravity in a grand disparity unlike anything we've ever seen. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today we're going to look at two separate factors, but of course they are interconnected. We're going to look at what's happening within the stock market. We're going to look at the economy as well. There are so many developments that are happening on a daily basis, it is very difficult to keep up with it. So I want to cover what's going on with the store closures, specifically with the lockdown 2.0. I've talked about everything from the commercial market mortgage-backed securities, all the way through the derivatives into what's happening on the store level. I'm going to give you some detail in there, but I also want to cover, if you stay to the end, which most people don't, what's happening with the Federal Reserve. Usually you get their reports, you get their statements. There's not much in there. It's usually nonsense. But this time around, I couldn't believe it. It was an actual warning message. So stay with me. Let's begin.
This is from Goldman Sachs. States with 80% of the population have placed reopening on hold or increased restrictions. So the very beginning here, March 15th, all the way up until the present, and you could see gray area being on hold, the red area increasing restrictions, and the blue easing restrictions. Might be a little difficult to see the chart, but essentially between the three of these, we have seen that 80% are now seeing either on hold or increasing restrictions. That isn't a good sign for the economy. Whatever you want to talk about politically and this and that doesn't matter to me. On this channel, we cover economics, we cover the financial aspects. Okay, and this article here is just showing you the restaurant chains that have filed for bankruptcy at this time. Trade groups estimate that up to 30% of restaurants could permanently close. Up to 30%. You have to think about how many jobs are being affected by this. Think about that when you got 30% of them. I mean, I don't know if that's going to be the case, but it wouldn't surprise me. Now think about how many storefronts are going to be empty as a result. What happens to the food court in the malls? what's going to happen to delivery services as a result. There are many things here that are both positive and negative, but for the majority, not good, okay? A report from S&P Global Ratings released Friday identified 15 publicly traded restaurant chains that are most likely to default. These business owners got a PPP loan. It may not be enough. Think about how many examples of this that we are encountering today. Yes, they took the money, but somehow that's supposed to fix the problem. I've brought this up many times before. Yes, it can get them a break. It can get them to basically catch their breath, but it doesn't fix the issue. Jamie Demon's warning for the US economy, nobody knows what comes next. And this is partly what I've been discussing all along. When you see that there are more question marks than anything else, it makes it difficult to invest if you are a business. Here we go, a spike may really happen again. This is unfortunate because you can see what they've been doing all along. The BLS knowingly, admittedly, did not count the numbers properly and those Fake numbers are the only ones that are being reported in the media. It is a joke. It's embarrassing. But in a way, I guess not because I'm seeing that repeated everywhere in the comment sections. You hear people talking about it. It's truly unfortunate. Okay, so take a look at this quote here. I, I couldn't believe it. Just reading it is unlike other statements that are made by the Federal Reserve. Check this out. We may be seeing significant pricing disconnects between the market and economic fundamentals, which could result in sudden and sharp repricing. This is unbelievable. Coming directly from the Federal Reserve itself, we may be seeing significant price disconnects between the market and economic fundamentals. I have said that over and over and over again and I'm really glad to be reading it directly from the Federal Reserve. The point that he's making here, which I don't go that far usually, is that he's saying a sharp repricing. He's talking about a crash essentially. Now it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to go down by 50% or 80% or whatever it might be. He's just saying that when you have these disconnects, when you have this chasm in between the economy and the stock market, eventually they meet back up and the growth of the economy is not going anywhere near the growth of the stock market right now so something has to change there's more here in this Bloomberg article. If you want to check it out, definitely do so. I think it's important to understand why this is happening today because the financial system runs off of debt. Imagine a system in which there is no real wealth anymore. It's all fictional. And when you put a whole bunch of weight on top of that, you topple it over very, very easily. The repo crisis really highlighted what's been happening. If you were paying attention, you know exactly how dangerous this system is. I mean, it was clearly obvious when the markets were desperate, absolutely desperate for the Federal Reserve to intervene at a historic level, and they did so. They absolutely went far, far beyond what they're ever allowed to do, and it doesn't seem like they will reverse course anytime soon. So that's a bit confronting, isn't it? And this is a guy who makes a commentary every week on where the US economy is going, and he's already talking about a collapse. And 
the scary thing is he's talking about a collapse based on information he's read from a Fed document. Now, here's something else to be aware of. Given what you just heard, January 25 to 29 in 2021, in Davos, Switzerland, every country from the United States to China must participate and every industry from oil and gas to tech must be transformed. In short, we need a great reset of capitalism. And that's published on the World Economic Forum website on the third of this, of the third of June, sorry. So make sure you understand what in fact we're dealing with. Is the reset in 2021 real? The official goal of the event that the, I've just talked about is to rebalance economies, promote fairness and create greater equity within nations. Now, please understand, I didn't make that up. I've done a copy and paste into that slide. Copy and paste. I haven't, the only thing I did was put the bold in. The rest of it is an absolute quote. Given that the people attending this meeting are the elite uber wealthy people, what do you think the chances are that it'll benefit the little people of the world? I reckon that those ultra wealthy that are at the meeting will make sure that it doesn't impact them, but the rest of us will get absolutely dropped in the hole. You can come up with all sorts of other reasons why that won't happen, but I will choose not to believe you. This has already been scheduled. It's happening next January. If you need any other information to share what we have today, why would you not do it now? Everything that we've talked about in the last year has happened and it's getting worse. What we talked about a year ago has long ago happened and now we're heading down the road of, oh my goodness, what now? Even the banks are stopping us dealing with cryptocurrency. I'm not sure that this is even funny anymore because the thing that always made me say, be, be aware, not afraid, we got gold, baby. Even the government's trying to stop us doing what we're doing because we're accessing systems that are outside of government control. I don't quite understand how you can look at what's happening in the world and not be somewhat panicked. So welcome to 2020, you tinfoil hat wearing aficionados. Don't panic, Jonesy. We got gold and we got it big time. Make sure you understand what you have in your hands today, ladies and gentlemen. You have access to gold. We have access to a gold wallet that will firewall us from what's happening in the world, irregardless of what happens. It doesn't have to be what I say is going to happen. I'm not saying anything's going to happen. In fact, I'm suggesting this is information I found. So let's look at gold prices. Hmm. In Australian dollars, 439% over 20 years, 27.68% this year, 27.68. Or you can put your money in the bank and get 0.6%. Let me think about that. So I can pass up 27% to get the 0.68, or I can put it into gold and get 27.68. I'm not sure actually which one I'd do, other than if I was an idiot. Watch this space because gold will break out when all of this happens. Make sure you prepare yourself by having assets that count. And when I say assets that count, you need to have something that's linked to gold, 
and or silver, but gold mostly. Okay, here we go on the 90 day momentum run. Ms. Camilla put this together. Are you on the call, Ms. Camilla? No, she's off at college tonight. She's put together a program that's a 90 day plan. Build our business along the way. It means committing to pushing through the barriers and building a bigger business. This is easy for everyone to do. Set your goals, write them down, put them on the PDF, contact 10 or more people per day. It doesn't have to be 10. It could be five. Make sure that you're contacting new people, talking to them, sharing the idea and invite, present and validate. Make sure they watch a presentation. Get them on a three-way call. There's not much else to it. Get them on a three-way call. So fill out the form, print it out, fill it out, sign it, and send it to your recommender or your active upline. Make sure you get connected to everything that's happening. Start on the 90-day momentum package. Okay, now right now, I know that we've got Mr. Smith on the line. Mr. Smith, are you there? I am here. How are you, everyone? Excellent. Hey, Mr. Smith, how about you share your screen? I will stop my sharing and you're going to show us the page where the instructions are about what to do with Bitcoin, etc. Yep, no worries. I'll need to share this now. Uh, this one. Yep, we can see your screen. We can see all that great stuff. We just refresh. Okay, so if um, you've been with us for a while, you've now got your own account inside the Gold Rocks website. You should have your dashboard and referral links and that sort of thing. So what we've been trying to do over the last few months is build some training for you. And we've had people like Brent and Greg all contribute to videos and such to make this happen. If you click on the training link, it takes you to this page and Feel free to put in something that you would like us to deliver into this email. Now that'll shoot me an email and then I'll share with Derek and, and co. And then we'll talk about how to deliver that. So some of the things that have uh, already been posted by members are things like registering new members in Carabars and what happens when, you know, fill out emails. So have a look through that. When you click on this, it'll take you to a page and show you what's, uh, what's happening in that particular area. Now over the weekend I put this together and that was link number six and I wanted to step you through the process of Binance and Carrot because it can be fairly clunky if you're doing it for the first time and uh, certainly when I was trying for the first time it was it took me much longer than I would have thought. Okay, it took me a well over a day. Have you edited this since the weekend, Brad? Sorry? Have you edited this since the weekend? No, no. I had a look earlier tonight and I couldn't get to that. Okay, we well, yeah. let's not go any further because this is now out of date. Ah, uh, okay, yep. So in the carrot bit system, you can now click on a button that let, when you put carrot, uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum into Carrotbit, you can now click on a button that will buy coins outside of the system. And that then lets you um, create a system that uh, brings coins in from outside. Click on dashboard. Okay, so you've got production code contest there on Bitcoin. So if you transfer Bitcoin into Carrotbit, then you've got the opportunity to enter the competition and get up to 250 grams of gold. It's a unique opportunity. 
It's 250 grams of gold they're giving away every two weeks. So you bring your Bitcoin in from outside, put it into Carrot Bit, and click on Deposit KBC. The system will automatically go and get KBC from outside of the system and bring it into Carrot Bit. If you do that, you automatically get entered into the gold draw. So it's a pretty cool system. And it happens every two weeks. So make sure that you understand that and how it's going to work. And we will help you get there if you need help. So Mr. Smith is a sort of retired telco dude, but he's actually been involved all the way along. So day claimers, please let Carolyn know cwphillips007 at gmail.com if you're coming on the 31st of October. It is a fantastic day. We'll be there all day. We will have a lot of fun there. A lot. Make sure that you get along there and work out what's going on and have a good time because we'll be there all day. Here's the next one. 26th of July, next Sunday, down at the Lone Star Tavern in Markeri Street and Sunshine Boulevard, Mermaid Waters. Um, he got this down for 12 noon for lunch and a presentation starts at two. We'll try and bring that into line with the rest of our events as time goes on. But there's the phone numbers there, Peter Hervenen, 0408 690 755. If you've got questions about getting to that event, we will be running that event next Sunday. And we'll have a whole lot of more information because where we've been on the website and it's um, where we're seeing changes, lots of them are happening today we'll be releasing them next Sunday at Mermaid Waters. So thanks everyone for coming along. Is there any questions from what we've done tonight? Anybody like to ask any questions? I can't seem to make the chat window come up. There it is, found it. This on oh my KBZ go straight to reduction plan. Great work, Malcolm. Malcolm saying he did the button on the weekend and it went straight to reduction plan. Fantastic. Great. So we still need to buy Bitcoin from another wallet. Yes, Janet, that would be the best thing to do because then you automatically get entered into the competition. Next Sunday's meeting probably won't be Zoomed, but we will have a go at it. It depends on the internet there. The internet on Sunday in Brisbane was ordinary, so we couldn't record it. We had two choices. We could either record it or, or stream it. So we chose to stream it. Thanks, Roger. Appreciate it. Thanks, Brent, Graham, Brad. Thanks, Graham, for coming on board tonight and talking about the V999 coin. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. We will see you on the golden beaches of the world. Have a great evening.